I don't know how this is going to be the final season. If they keep going at the rate they're going of two chapters per episode, maybe? Let's get into it. What's up, everyone? It's Mikhail Casanova here. So this is going to be my first ever anime episode review for Attack on Titan. I've been watching the I've watched the entire anime from start to where it is now for years now. And uh, I've been I've fully caught up on the manga. I've already if you haven't seen, I did a analysis and reaction review of chapter 137, which is the latest chapter and attack on titan and so basically what we're doing here we're going to be talking about the latest episode which is season four episode 10 now uh for those who are wondering where this fits in with the manga because you know there are people who will and won't read the manga if you're reading the manga then you watch the episodes you probably understand you know there are things that are cut out or recontextualized i mean there are some things that are point for point so for example where we at now in the show we're at chapter 107 uh which basically the episode that came off today or whenever you're watching this for me in hawaii it's, it's sunday when it comes out then that episode episode 10 covers chapter 107 as well as 108 and then the next episode is going to pick up with 109 and then go to 110 so it seems like the theme that's going on here with the show is that it's basically doing you know uh two chapters per episode and i guess if they continue to go at that rate that they'll be able to catch up to where the manga is within the next couple months although i gotta say this i honestly do think that uh I don't know how this is going to be one season particularly uh 26 episodes maybe they can pull it off i don't know we're already in episode 10 of season four so i don't know maybe before we dive further into this make sure you hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell if you enjoy this type of content this is fairly new for me but i figured why not you know i have no problem with it and basically we're going to talk about this episode so in this episode episode 10 of season four of attack on titan Basically, it kicked off exactly where Chapter 107, a uh, chapter known as Visitor, started off with uh, Hanji talking to Eren. And basically, Eren's talking to himself. He keeps saying, fight, fight, fight. And so Hanji is basically asking him, like, what are you talking about? Like, why do you keep saying fight, fight, fight? You know, what are you like? She basically she's goading him. She's trying to interrogate him at the same time and kind of, I guess, manipulate him in a way. And he's over here like. You can't do anything to me. What what are you gonna do to me? I've got the I've got the Warhammer Titan. I can get out of here whenever I want. Like nothing is keeping me here. Like you can't contain me. I'm here of my own volition. And so she started asking him why he decided to go to Marley and jeopardize, you know, Paradise Island as well as Historia and all that. And so, you know, it, it goes from there. If you're familiar with chapter 107, it, there is some point by point instances where that continues. Now, the point where it changes up a bit is when it gets to where you meet uh, Kiyomi. That goes point for point, with the exception of they show something different, whereas in the show, it doesn't show how Mikasa got the brand of the Ackerman manga. It shows that the mother gave it to her and told her to make sure that she keeps it protected. So throughout this entire show, you know, from the original season up to here, you've never seen her her wrist ever shown freely. Now, going on further, you have the part where you have uh, Zeke and the Envoy speaking to one another. And it's very similar to how it plays out in the manga. There are some slight differences because in the manga, it basically goes on to have uh, Zeke basically admit that he is you know, uh, a restorationalist for Paradise Island. So he's for them. You know, he's he's basically doing everything he can to help those of Paradise Island. But they cut that part out. And there are instances where I'm enjoying how the show is fulfilling a lot of what's in the manga. Except there are points where it feels like it's just rushing. Like they're rushing. They're, they're getting rid of the nuance and the subtleties of the manga so that they can present, you know, boom, 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 exposition, exposition, exposition. And, you know, cutting out that scene where you see 
Zeke tell Kiyomi what he is. Like he's actually for the, you know, the, the aliens. He's the alien restorationist. That I feel like it takes out a lot of context from it. Like I, I, I don't know why they decide to do that. And the only thing I can come to the conclusion is that somewhere down the road in another episode, they're going to recap and show all the footage that they're cutting out in order to, you know, I guess make the story flow without dead points. Because what I'm noticing with the anime versus the manga, and while the anime is very, very close to where the manga is, as far as like consistency, there are instances where the anime just cuts out a lot of the dialogue. And one of the things a lot of people may assume that Attack on Titan, if you're not familiar with the manga or the show, you may assume that it is literally just a show about action when there's a lot of nuance, political intrigue, tone setting and setting up for big reveals later on down the road. So it, it follows it closely, but the pace that is going where it's effectively doing two, basically two chapters per episode, that nuance and subtlety is being left out. And I am a bit concerned about that. Great episode overall. Um, it really set the tone, but you may feel like uh, enough wasn't done. You know, you may feel like there could have been some more, you know, added to it. But they left it out or they just, you know, the, the the format of 24 minute episodes, I feel like it should be like an hour episode. That's just me. I know I'm probably babbling at this point, but it's just one of the things I kind of feel like. So it goes to a flashback where they're showing, you know, uh, Connie, Sasha, Mikasa, uh, and, the you know, Aaron and the whole crew. They're all there, Gene and, and as well as uh, Armin. And they're all basically they're helping pave the road and then they run into Levi and then Hans and they're talking about basically the whole situation with, you know, uh, Kiyomi's country. You know, she's an envoy and whatnot, uh, basically how that whole thing is going down and how they're basically looking to, you know, build up Paradise Island so that it can function in the grander scope of the world now. You know, they, they, <laughs> it fast forwards to a scene where you got people, uh, some of the military, they're talking about how dare, you know, how, how dare Historia get herself pregnant. You know, they basically, they're saying that they need to just turn her into a Titan so that they can still have power against the Marleans and effectively create the rumbling. But then you have a soldier who's against it because, if she were to do that, then her baby would be in jeopardy. And if you guys understand that basically with the Titans, uh, especially the Titan that Zeke has, which is the, the beast Titan, uh, if he were to die, then the only one who will inherit that would be Historia's child. And there's a lot of intrigue. Who got her pregnant? Who, you know, basically the guy that they're showing, like, who is he? And that's essentially, there's a lot of foreshadowing, like, it's never explicitly stated in the manga who did or who didn't, but it's, you know, greatly assumed that it is possibly Aaron. And throughout the whole episode, you're seeing Aaron go from the beginning where he's like fight, 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 where he said that there's no other alternative than to utilize the rumbling to basically he's at the course of like, he does a time skip of about two years where He's just dead set on like, this is the way it has to go. There's no other way to do this other than, you know, execute the rumbling and level the rest of the world. There's a lot of subtlety and nuance there. Um, you're seeing the gradual progression of despair and hopelessness of Aaron. You know, he does not want to have Historia become a Titan, even though Historia basically volunteers herself to become one he doesn't want that to happen because he thinks that there's got to be another way you see that youthful like optimism within Aaron to to find something else he doesn't want to go through with Zeke's plan he even says like Zeke can shove it he doesn't want to go through with that and then as you're seeing because the episode jumps around in time where it's like Aaron just gave up. He's like, this is the only way. So, it, you know, 
the episode did pretty good, I would say. Um, pacing, I felt like the pacing was good, but I do feel like, unlike the manga, when it jumps to different points in time, sometimes you have to pay very close attention to what's going on to know, like, oh, this is supposed to be in the past. You know, this is not where the intro of the episode started. This is a year in the past or two years in the past. You have to look at, you know, the physical features of Aaron, of everyone around them, how they're acting. Like there's just a certain level of tension despair that's increasing as the episode goes on. So overall, I do think it was well done. Uh, cutting out the scenes with Zeke and Kayomi, you know, him basically talking about being an Eldian restorationist. Uh, I do think that took away from the episode. I think they should have kept that in. Uh, again, I do think that that's going to go into being a later episode down the road where they're just going to do a huge exposition dump. So I don't know. There's also the aspect where it, it goes into um, the discussion between Connie, Mikasa, Armin, Jean about how Sasha died. And all Aaron did was laugh. He laughed at it. So it's kind of crazy how they perfectly fit that, the in entirety, the tone and everything. They fit that from the manga perfectly to the anime. Like it was point for point done so perfectly well. I absolutely loved it. But yeah, great episode overall. And so with all that being said, I mean, I think all overall it was a good episode. I think if you're watching the anime exclusively i think there's a lot that you can gain if you were to go and read the manga if you're very interested in reading the manga if you can't afford to buy it i'll leave a link where you can read the entire thing online also in colored format where it was basically colored in by uh, some fans of the franchise i do think that reading the manga as well as supplementing that by watching the anime gives you a better contextual idea of what's going on overall. And I think that's kind of the best way to appreciate Isayama's work. You know, like you get to see his fully realized manga as it is based off of his storytelling. And then you get to see how the studios have adapted that to the big screen, you know, TV. So with that being said, uh, great episode. Meyer nitpicks aside. What do you guys think? Did you enjoy this episode? Are there any feedback you guys have uh, regarding the episode? Also regarding my review. I know I'm kind of all over the place because like I said, this is new. I'm finding my footing in reviewing anime episodes. This is incredibly new to me. Um, but I, I really felt like I wanted to dive into uh, a new type of format of content. I really want to do something different other than just tech and video game reviews. I, I wanted to dive into shows that I'm watching, things I have an interest in, and, you know, feel like how we can go from there. So whatever your thoughts are, let's get the conversation going down below. And if you want to take it further, we do have Discord where you can hop in and uh, talk to other people that enjoy manga, anime, video games, and various things, you know, the other content creators in there as well. So hop on in Discord, links in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel, ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the latest greatest content that comes from this channel. So if you want to follow me on any of the socials, links for those are all down here below. If you're watching this episode and you want to catch another creator that's also from Hawaii that covers a lot of anime content and also has a podcast called Podcasts Across Worlds where she dives into it, then make sure you check out Lehula Superfina. I have a link that'll pop up right here in one of the corners and also down below. And uh, other than that, I'm Mikhail Casanova, Hawaii content creator, host of Hawaii's number one podcast, the Casanova podcast. I catch y'all on the next one. This is wild. Too sweet. Be the elite. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I really want to say mahalo and gracias for doing so. It is truly amazing that I have people that actually enjoy my content. I mean, you made it to the end of the video, so I assume you enjoyed it. If you didn't, hey. There's a dislike button you can always hit. I, I know, you know, some people like to do that, but hey, whatever. I just am appreciative of the fact that you came through, you watched it, you got to this point. If you want to do me a solid, 
go ahead and hit the like button if you really liked it and if you loved it go ahead and sub for more content like this if you want to support my work we've got channel memberships we got patreon and all that will pop up somewhere on the screen here and linked down below. Your support means a lot to me. If you know someone who would enjoy this type of content, go ahead and share it. That's what matters most. You guys watching it and sharing it with someone who might enjoy it, a friend, who knows? With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Mahalo again, gracias, and fafatai. I will see you on the next one. Yeah, it's three different languages I spoke there. So Hawaiian, Spanish, and Samoan. So. <laughs> Gives you a little detail as to what I'm mixed with. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe, and uh, yeah, happy gaming, happy streaming. Have a good one.